Well, Chrissy, we've been talking and you were sharing a little bit about uh, boulders, obstacles that get in our way. And sometimes it's obstacles to songwriting. Sometimes it's obstacles to other things in life. But uh, specifically, we were talking around songwriting. Right. And what are some of the boulders that slow us down? Mm -hmm. And I remember you writing in your book, you said, when you move the boulder, you're freed up to go further. And I thought that was such a beautiful image. So what are some of the boulders that tend to hold people back? And what have you seen as ways to move that boulder? Yeah. So in my mind, a boulder is something that will literally keep you from progressing forward. Yeah. So that could be um, a wrong perspective. It could be a lie that you believed from the enemy. Mm -hmm. um, it could be something somebody else said to you, or it could be a generational thing. Yes. And, you know, I've, I've worked with a lot of uh, specifically women over the years mm -hmm. and have had many conversations about this very thing. And a lot of times, really what I have found is it is something that somebody said. Yeah. Like maybe just one line that really dug deep in their heart. And they don't even know they said it half the time. Right. They but don't know they said this it. Life. <laughs> or it could have been just an off the cuff, you know, like wow. um, I'm just thinking of one. Well, I'm thinking of several for myself, too. I remember even as a little girl playing something for my piano teacher. Mm. And I remember her saying to me, you can't just play something and call that a song. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things for me, you know? So, wow. so she, but she didn't, I'm sure she didn't know what she was saying. Yeah. And I'm sure she didn't know how to write songs, you know, at <laughs> right. the time, probably. But that was something I had to work through. Thankfully, my parents stepped in. Um, I had some amazing parents and stepped in and were able to say, you can write songs, you know, at that point in time. But that's that's a small example of mm -hmm. things that happen repeatedly mm -hmm. in somebody's life. And I'll say, when someone's gifted in creativity, what do you think the enemy is going to come against specifically? All their creative giftings. Yeah. And, and their belief in themselves, their ability yes. to stretch boundaries. Yes. Uh, it's going to try to confine them, put them in boxes. Yep. And so I think those are the boulders. Wow. Like those for a creative yeah. and i think with creativity always comes sensitivity mm -hmm. mm -hmm. those kind of come hand in hand and so um it's really funny even i was writing this week and somebody said why are we so insecure as writers and everybody said we all are like we're just sensitive to yeah. you know what is happening how everybody's feeling and i think it's just part of the gift yeah you know, it comes with you're, the gift. You're taking what's in your heart and putting it out for the exactly. world to see. Exactly, yes. And sometimes it's before you've even perfectly formed it. Right. And so you're putting something out there before you've had a chance to perfect it. Right. And then yes. people are giving feedback to the thing that you that you love already because yes. it was birthed in your heart and maybe yeah. through difficult trials and pain and mm -hmm. sometimes through joyous moments. Yes. But this thing's being birthed. You're starting to share it. And you know you're going to make tweaks. Yeah. But then even then, it, there, you, you put it out there in the world and you kind of wear that out on your sleeve a little yeah. bit. And, I mean, just that's what creative, that's what we yes. do. Yes. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of parenting in some yeah. ways because, um, you know, now I have two kids that are adults. Mm -hmm. And looking back at their baby videos, yes. I'm like, oh, I'm, and watching myself interact, I'm like, oh, no, that wasn't what he meant. He meant... <laughs> Cause now I know him. Now you know, you know? him. Yeah. Now I, but I knew I could feel that love for him in the beginning. Yeah. But sometimes you're right. That process of a song growing up, mm. um, you don't want to crush that baby stage of the song. Right. You know, you want to make sure, especially in a co-writing situation, you don't want to crush any ideas mm -hmm. because it is precious, mm -hmm. right? It's precious. Wow. And it's in its infant state. Mm -hmm. And when something is in its infant state, you have to be the most right. careful. Right. Um, but as it grows, then you all start to understand who the song is or yeah. what it carries yes. or what part of Jesus that it carries. Yes. Um, but in the beginning, that's when that sensitivity piece is really important to be aware of in the writing room yeah. with your with your fellow co-writers. Um, it grows into something beautiful. And if we can... Um, as writers, clear those things out of our hearts. Mm -hmm. And I had to do a lot of that, mm -hmm. you know, remembering, well, if I step out again, I could be hurt again. Yes. Or um, so-and-so said I actually wasn't a worship leader, so 
I'm not going to sing anymore. If we can clear mm. that stuff out and really lean into what mm -hmm. we talked about before, the intimacy of God, mm -hmm. and let his voice be the number one voice in our lives. Because it's easy to remember one or two things somebody said and for those to yeah. block yeah. your ability to accomplish what God wants you to accomplish. Well, what breaks the lie is the truth. Right. So exactly. if the enemy is going to lie to you, even if he lied to you through someone else mm -hmm. uh, or, or through, maybe there's a generational iniquity or something going on generation yes. to generation. But what will break that is the truth. And I love something that you wrote. You said, um, you know the bolder mover. Boulder breaker. The boulder breaker. I was like, I was like, <laughs> yes. I was like I'm going to say this wrong. Yes. You, we know the boulder breaker. Yeah. So yes, there is a boulder there, and that yes. is legitimate. And we have to be self-aware, and it can yeah. come from a past wound. Yep. It could be, it could be a bruise. And right. I, I think about bruising, and I think about um, if I get a bruise on my arm, I, I'm more sensitive when I'm around somebody because yes. I don't want to bump the bruise. Right. And so I put up some walls and mm -hmm. some limits and some layers. But Jesus said that he came to heal the brokenhearted, mm -hmm. that he came to do inner healing work, yeah. not, not just on physical bruises, but on our hearts. We we know the boulder breaker. We know breaker. him. We know we him. Know, I know him. Oh my gosh, <laughs> and, we know him. And, and we get to share that with other people. So even yes. in the analogy that we talked about the other day, it, it, the idea that you get to carry buckets of living water. Yeah. And the way that the bucket that the Lord's given you is songwriting. Mm -hmm. And that you get to write songs that are filled with truth, filled yeah. with living water that go break the lies yeah. that may be somebody else's boulder yeah. and that can bring inner healing yes. and that can break curses yeah. and that can bring freedom from oppression. I mean, yes. the things that a song can do, yeah. and it's not just songwriting, but we're talking about songwriting. Right, I, I just right. love it. We, hey, we know the boulder breaker. We know him, yes. <laughs> well, and it's that. amazing. Once you experience that freedom, mm -hmm. then you have the ability to help other people walk through that same process, yes. you know, and I think that's an important piece of this whole wow. creative world that we're mm -hmm. in is um, you're free. You're free. Awesome. Go help somebody else yes. get freed. Um, because again, that creativity and sensitivity comes together and it, it can be a blessing mm -hmm. too. It can be an amazing blessing, but sometimes it can create those boulders. And so it's, it's part it's of the reason that, that we write in community. Right. Sometimes we're hurt in community, mm -hmm. but our healing almost always comes through community Isn't as well. Isn't that true? Because the Lord uses other people as yeah. different parts of the body to deliver that healing. Yes. And so um, I love that we talk so much about co-writing. Mm -hmm. And I love the idea of finding a few close people that you can go deep with so you can share those those early moments and those early ideas with without yes. worrying that it's going to get squished too early. Right. But that they can also help you develop that song. Mm -hmm. And they can help over time say, hey, have you thought about extending the bridge? Or have you thought about changing this language right here? Just this lyric, it just yeah. feels a little off. And to invite good co-writers that you love to do life with Right. They can help you identify boulders you're not even aware of. Yep. There are things that you can see on me right now that I can't see in myself. Mm -hmm. Like I, I can't see my nose, but you can tell me because you can see it. When yeah. you're sitting across from a co-writer, mm -hmm. they can see things that you can't see in yourself. That and that's so why true. God put us in community. Yeah, we need so, each other, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Amen. It's awesome. Well, I hope that this will help you break some boulders in your life. And it's not that you have to do it. You know the boulder breaker too. And so lay it before the Lord. Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted, uh, set the captives free, to bring sight to the blind. I hope this has been helpful for you. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video.